Hello everyone. In this video, we'll discuss about the virtual objects in QTP. So, what are virtual objects? As the name suggests, we are creating the objects virtually in the QTP. Virtual objects enable you to create and run test on the objects that are not normally recognized by the quick test. Okay, let's uh, take one example. Let's say this is your application. Okay, and here is one button appears here now due to some reason your application may contain the object that behaves like a standard object so here it is a standard object as a button but qtp is not able to recognize this object so what to be done in this case okay not even the smart identification work not even your ordinal identification works so in this case we use the virtual objects and map them to a standard class so qtp identifies the virtual objects according to its boundaries so it stores the its height and its width okay so it stores its boundary condition it marks an object boundary specifies its size and position on the web page and save it in a collection object okay so as the object stored in the object repository similarly virtual object stored in a collection okay let's look this option from the qtp itself so from qtp go to the tools and virtual objects option okay so here are the two options you can create the virtual object from here or from here you cannot create the virtual object from any of the object repository so new virtual object and then here the wizard appears just click next on it now here what type of object that you want to create here are the list of some predefined objects like button table list checkbox ready button let's create the button object okay then press next and now here the mark object button as soon as you click on this button one crosshairs pointer will appear and you have to drag it to select the particular area so let's do that let's say we have this orbis traveling site and this is the button and it is not able to recognize by qtp now we are marking this area as a button from this virtual object button so click on this mark object see the cross here pointers appear drag the pointer to select the position okay then release it see the width and height gets recorded of that particular area so that area will be treated as an object click on the next it also stores the browser and the page object as well its parent hierarchy now here it asks you for the saving the only the parent means that is page or you want to save the entire parent hierarchy let's select the parent only then click next and now give the name of the button let's say i'll give it first button okay now here is the collection name okay as in the or uh, as the object stores in the objects repository in the similar manner the virtual object saves in the collection so give any name let's say collection give it a name as a collection and just save it now it asks for you do you want to define the another virtual agent just select is no and then finish now your virtual object is saved now where is this virtual object save it actually saves into your computer at these locations either on the first location that is in your app data local go to the virtual store then in program files then in hp and qtp folder there is a dat folder within the vo template there is a file got collection created or if the that file is not present here go to this option install folder of your qtp then that and then vo template in any of these folder that file will create now let's go to this folder i have this folder okay so here we have just created this collection dot vot so the file extension of this is dot vot so we have created that the dot collection dot vop so it is stored in this vo template so from here the virtual object can be created similarly you can create the virtual object from virtual object manager here 
all the virtual objects that exist on your computer get listed here see the collection and we have created first button here i have previously created one more collection first collection so it's object listed over here and then from here you can create a new as well okay or you can create a delete option you can delete the objects from here so this is how a virtual objects actually created now if you want to use this virtual object in your object repository because here see no objects in the objects repository because these objects are not added into this so if you want to appear that object here there is one workaround and what is that workaround go to your view template again and then just rename this file from dot vot to dot tsr okay i have already renamed it dot tsr and if the file is renamed as dot tsr then go to your resources object repository manager and open that tsr okay let's open that collection dot tsr open and see now that virtual object just click it yes and see the virtual button gets enabled here see the virtual button that we have added See, it's x and y coordinates is here its width is here okay so this is how your virtual objects get created okay so now there is some limitation of virtual object as well so they, they the limitations are qtp does not support virtual objects for analog and low level recording okay and during a run session make sure that the application window is in the same size and in the same location as it was during recording otherwise the coordinates of the virtual object relating to its parent object may be different and your script might get failed so this is the important point that you have to keep your application in the same size as it were in during the recording time otherwise the coordinates of virtual objects related to its parent objects may be different and your script may fail then other thing is you can use virtual objects only when you are doing recording or running a test you cannot use the object spy to view its property because it is not a particular object we have just created an object so basically the location of the object with respect to the application is your virtual object so this is the last step that you need to follow if the object identification doesn't work if the smart identification doesn't work and even if ordinal identifier doesn't work so go for the virtual object so that's all about the virtual objects in the qtp thank you